I'm yesterday. pulling that straws, to be honest. I, I think overall, this is going to be quite a tough game for Occupy, but let's see how those first three minutes go. Yeah, let's see the first three minutes and how the Welcome results are to going to pan Legends. out. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we are at match point. If Blacklist take another point, that's going to be a 2-0, to zero, sending Occupy lower in the group. All right. Things are going to start off slow, but I'm immediately just looking on what exactly do they want to do. Wait, look at the top side of the map. Yeah, this is finally a team is actually abusing this. We are seeing an early level 2 from both the mid laner and as well as the EXP, while Diggy achieves his level 2 off of the mid lane, allowing them to rotate early for this Lithal Wander to make it a little uncomfortable. But notice on the opposite side for at least Occupy, he decided, I'm going to start on orange first and then make my way to purple. Yep, this is uh, the rotation that Blacklist International uh, made popular in the uh, MPL Philippines Season 11 playoffs, and here they're showing it off to a great extent. I'm um, pretty sure these numbers are right there you go. That, that's better. All right, closer to 50-50 in the cold lead at about a minute and change. Mm -hmm. Maro, though, gets spotted out. Look at the XP gain on Blacklist. Yeah, I, there's nothing much you can really do about that, right? You're just going to have to wait it out. And I think, you know, the biggest impact is once you see the neutral objective show up. But notice that Blacklist International are making sure that they're hovering around the bottom side of the map. And even for Morrow, right, going against Oh My Venus, it's just continuous. The auto alarm bombs and then the love taps coming back in from Morrow, just going back and forth. The only problem is that Oh My Venus, if you look at his, uh, if you look at his battle spell as well, as, sorry, his emblems, it's, you know that he wants to build damage. The queen wants to build damage, and if he keeps on going this way, expect to see Mara get, just getting one shot out of nowhere. Yeah, and that's annoying, right? Every time you want to go for something, you uh -oh. want to look for an NH, you get tied at first, but Alpha here? He's in trouble. He's dead. That's it. Oh, Lord. You're just talking about the queen, how she chose violence, draws first blood. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Diggy with that emblem, it's, it's gonna hurt. It hurts in the late game, the way that you spam it, the way that the passive stacks as well. And wait a second here. Hello, forcing Ooh. out a flicker from Morrow. Send that Angela home without a level four, without an ult. Yeah, that's a little frustrating. This first turtle probably not going to go into the hands of Occupy for now unless Leo is able to clutch this out. But notice that Blacklist, they want to play hyper standard, right? Benedetta is going into the jungle. Whoa, using that Electo oh. final blow, taking down Maro. Yes, Leo does keep his purple, but at the cost of his rover. Now down bottom, Speedy, so much pressure. Yuri pops him. And Leo meets up oh. with the Queen. And here's the heart guard finally. Do they pull the trigger? Yes, they do. But to no avail. Yeah, a small win for Occupy there, being able to take V off the map, especially now that you can see that Blacklist are already rotating towards the next little objective, the Turtle. But even with a man advantage, Occupy, they have decided not to go for it. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's, honestly, there's no point to actually try for it, right? Their item power spikes aren't there. Esmeralda is basically a non-factor in a majority of these fights until she starts getting her uh -oh. first two. No. Look at this attempted sandwich play. Leo gonna get hit with the reverse time. Phantom Execution on out, survives. Gets to walk away for free, but that bottom side, once again, we're not seeing Speedy get too much of a lead at the end of the day. Owl, he just has to play it a little slow, get calls in for reinforcements, and whenever that Wise is pathing down to the bottom side, he knows for a fact that he can get a little bit more aggressive to hopefully force a mistake from Occupy, bait them out into a fight that they probably won't win without some extra bodies. Yeah, so far we don't really have much of an impact here coming in from the mid laners, right? They're still building those items, Elegant Gem both for them, but I feel like there's a lot more for the Novaria to play around with, with the way Blacklist are going about these skirmishes, right? These team fights. But unfortunately, because she hasn't been knocked up, hasn't been online just yet, Ooh. there's not much of that going on. But meanwhile, here. Oh, that's a hard guard. Preemptive, possibly. Yeah, that's a clear sign. Blacklist will not want to fight. They're just waiting it out. Yep, no reason to actually go any further than this. The next objective is 43 seconds away. They're going to play playing to their strengths, and now that it's gone, they might find an opportunity. Yui hasn't stolen any ults just yet. He might be wanting to utilize that slow. Oh, Astral Echo. Eyes on Yui. Eyes on V as well. They see everybody. And now Owl just chipping away at this tier one down bottom. Wow, I like that this is a vision versus vision game, right? Because obviously Smile can do that. 
Maro a little bit uh, speedy as well with his ultimate, but so can Venus, right? She can put in the time bombs around, open up the map as well, and you can see that starting to become a 1v1 type of vision situation. Especially when they're coming down to the bottom side, Alpha once again getting punished. Oh, the switch up! They take down the XP lane after the swap. Speedy now in the top lane. What's going on? Blacklist goes for the B line, and here's oh. the hard guard under the Moscow. Edward's in trouble. Do they get the love taps? Oh, short of a basic attack, Edward survives. Oh, Speedy didn't want to go further than that. He didn't want to tank a couple of shots and then back out and then use the Spear of Destruction. Fortunately, Wise is going to be able to one going to be the one taking away that turtle, but they trade it for top tier one, and they're able to convert this into something more. There's a stun on All My Venus, but there's too much damage coming in from Blacklist. Morrow gets popped. Not much of an answer from a stationary Angela. Now Leo wants to take down Wait. Yue. Is there enough damage? He gets knocked up, gets stunned, and hit with an appraiser's wrath. Oh. Uh... Speedy ran. Okay, sure, you want to cover Speedy, right? You want to cover Gold Lane. Speedy goes back. Leo goes back in. But Speedy's not there to back him up. I don't know, miscommunication? What's going on here? The pressure's starting to get to them. That's what it feels like, right? When you look at Blacklist, their chemistry seems to be going really, really well. They're feeling very comfortable now with a 3.1k lead against Occupy. But Occupy, on, other, on the other hand, uh, I don't want to say that it's negative synergy just yet, but I do think that there are definitely, there is a breakdown in communication. Mm, 3,400 gold lead already here in the seventh minute of the game. Blacklist once again with the fast rotations here to the bottom side. Speedy might be in trouble. Hardguard still able to save them, Leo? Oh, there's a dash forward. They mean business. They want to find one. Puncture on through. Hatch it, hatch it, hatch it. Oh, they catch you in, and they take him down. That's a shutdown. Oh. Plus another one. Smile from downtown with a snipe. And that's two for free. Occupy back on the board. That's what we wanted to see. At least Occupy able to redeem themselves there a little bit. That's going to give them some momentum. And now they're trying to farm as much as they can. But look at that top side. Oh, top side, bottom side as well. Oh, heartstrings by Maro. Top lane defended, held down by Alpha. What's Al doing? Clearing the waves? Oh, Speedy trying to take this little wanderer. Why? Wow, he's got his eyes on it. Yeah, he's going to be able to achieve this no problem whatsoever. Oh, time's journey coming in from the Queen with a flicker. Can Leo finish the job? I like the final blow coming in. And that's all she wrote, but traded up for Owl, one for one. So good, so good. I was going to say, hey, watch out for this upcoming turtle fight because Edward has that petrified with Electro final blow. And we know how devastating that could be. Now not even a non-factor. The fact that Leo isn't around, they're basically going to secure this for free. Here we go. Hearthguard coming in. Alpho gets him, but not until Wise gets a turtle first. So shields and extra damage on the side of Blacks International. Alpho says that's a no-go. Yeah, even without the resources, Blacklist still able to get that under the nose of Occupy. And looking at this, you can see that Speedy trying to get to that point as fast as he can. He's going in, rotating towards that top side, getting the farm that he so desperately needs at the stage because you know, his team needs him right now. They need him to come online before Blacklist starts to snowball here in the eighth minute of the game. Yeah, and if Blacklist could just take away more and more resources off the map, it's going to make it difficult for Occupy, right? So the fact that that bottom side, tier one, is already cracked open, and ideally, if they can get that mid-tier one, they're basically going to starve Occupy like they did in game number one all over again. Dude, Ooh. that's a golden staff for Owl already. Oh, no. See the damage from the basics. There's a reverse time on the speedy. This is a this is an engagement just waiting to happen. Look at the angle by Wise. He's not going to be showing himself just yet. He's going to go back to the farming, make sure that they have a little bit more control, and they know that Occupy is just forced to sacrifice this. Wait, mid lane. Uh oh, Leo looks for one. They got eyes on Edward, but they don't see Wise. No, they're going to back up here once again. Wise, he doesn't mind walking up into this. He can take the damage. Oi. There you oh. go, heart guard cancelled. Yeah. Instead, Alpha's left to his own devices. It's a 3v1. And now they catch Mato. Wise gets it. Not the best of decisions, I would say, to do a hard guard right in front of Wise, but here we go. Edward Wise, 2v1 situation. Can he get up? BD! 2v1! This Moscow they had no business being in this deep. That's all she wrote. 
Occupy have lost so much in the past minute. Yeah, this is just this is just devastating. Blacklist just making sure that every one of these movements over extensions are punished. They are playing their standard game and occupy. They've got no footing whatsoever. If they want to go for if they want to go for more, maybe they can look for a punish onto UA. But even then, still, Edward is quite the problem. They have nobody to really lock him down. Oh, the vision! The vision is what I keep. Cringing at right from V. V already has a divine glaive as well, so not only vision, but already a lot of damage paired in with that impure rage. To add to that, I think you can say vision is one thing, right? But what does Occupy do with it? Right now, there's not much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But and for Blacklist, they have a fundamental lineup that they have coverage, and even if uh, the Valentina steals the Astral Echo, it's worth it. And now Leo is in trouble. Oh no, there's not much he can do here. Maro can try to save him, but there's a reverse time. Puts him down under, Owl gets a kill. Maro's too close, he can't even use the hard guard to buy him that extra bit of shield to protect it and maybe, oh. hopefully, turn things around. Now Alpha, it's his turn to get the hard guard treatment. Oh, just enough to help him survive. But what are they gonna do against this level one Lord? Oh Owl coming in with a blazing God. duet. Oh, my Venus very low. Owl goes down off of Maro's love wave. Oh, oh and there's a snipe coming in from Smile, but the turret still goes down. Alright, they still find it. Edward is gonna try and take out 1v1 against Speedy. Is he gonna check? Oh, oh. Edward spotted it. Beautiful! There's the eye for an eye. Speedy's not gonna survive unless. Oh! That's a 3v1. Somebody stop him! Wise gets the kill. Oh man, he just gets down to the ground there by the Frederin there. Alright, 4,500 gold lead here for Blacklist, but it looks like despite everything, Occupy is still putting up a fight. They were able to get a few objectives on the map in terms of Blacklist's towers, and as this goes through, if they can, you know, stay disciplined, honestly, with the way that they're playing, I do feel like they might have a fighting chance. Let's take a look at what happened there. Yeah, in this instant replay, you can almost immediately tell that Alpha gets chunked down really hard. But the overextension was unnecessary, right? We know for a fact that Owl didn't need to go for this blazing duet. And if he's going to go for anybody, might as well start looking towards your side. You know, like Smile, for an example. Get his flicker. Try to force something out of him, rather than walking up to the person who has the hard guard. Talk about Smile, he's deathless. He's, he's been using this range to maximum efficiency. Watch out for him. I think uh, after a fourth or fifth for item, mm -hmm. he should be able to snipe out Owl with just two major hits. Mm -hmm. And not to mention that, you know, Edward, you, you, he could basically win out this 1v1 against Speedy unless Speedy has that Inspire. Then it's a little dangerous. But other than that, right, Edward, he can greed out with his build. He has more than enough damage. He knows for a fact that Alpha isn't going to get to the position that he wants to unless this is 16 minutes into the game. And even then, Maro, that shield is starting to fall off and it's falling off fast. Mm -hmm. You're right here. I don't know about this. Seems like Blacklist, they want to take things a little bit slower than before. They're not going to go for a crazy end gauge just yet. Because six seconds left on the board. I think it's fine to go slow. Yeah. There's not much Blacklist is losing. Uh, they have a okay scaling lineup, right? The more but, items that the Diggy gets, the more painful it goes. But I don't know, scaling compared to a Moscov in the late game. And the Novaria? Hmm. Okay. It's and risky. And the Esmeralda, but I guess this is not taking it slow. Again, they're going for the Lord as quickly as they can. I mean, they're situationally aware, right? As much as you want to see Blacklist kind of like just continuously developing this lead, 5k is more than enough. They're going to hit the item power spikes that, that they need. They're going to find the neutrals. Oh, Edward. He has one. And here's the hard guard. Can Speedy capitalize? Look at Alpho. Here comes Wise. This is more an even fight, 2v2. Alpho spots out Owl. Can he finish the job? Speedy catches an angle. He still has the hard guard. And now Owl comes in, taking down the Moscow and pops Maro right out. Oh, that's a difficult engagement. Occupy should get out of here. Why? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think Alpha could have just kept on going. He had the sprint as well. Could have kept on trying to force something, maybe get a kill onto Owl's side, but they backed off and the miscommunication ended up Speedy positioning himself for the Battle Marine image and dying for it. Watch out. This is peculiar because Blacklist don't have a wave. So I wonder what Occupy's call is. Take down the Lord. Defend. Keep our major objectives. U.S. stole the actual Echo. Wise deep behind enemy territory. A Echo final blow already used up by Edward. They take down a mid lane inhibitor. That was so risky. That was such a risky play from Speedy. Not really sure if that was... 
risk to take, honestly, Optimal. right? I mean, two... Okay, one inhibitor turret taken down. I mean, if that if a same mistake like that keeps on going, that's that's GG, honestly. I think this game is slowly coming to... Well, you know what? Let's look at the items real quick. Where is Esmeralda hat in her build? Currently, third item already complete. Looking to complete a fourth item. But what does she even go for? Because at the end of the day, no matter what she gets, she's still going to need at least something along the lines of maybe even an Ice Queen's Wand to be somewhat relevant in chasing down the Claude. And even then, there's no guarantee. Uh, looking at what uh, Alpha has, even he's not sure. <laughs> right? He can't uh, decide. Yeah, the ice cream wand doesn't come from either the pants or the robe. Yep. So he's, he's still waiting. I think the call is going to come from somewhere in OP. It's going to come from Speedy if he has enough damage. It's going to come from Smile if he feels like his snipes are getting better. So it's not all over just yet, but it's very hard for Occupy to claw back. What was the item on Smile? Do you, do you remember how far she's gone in her item? Uh, he's currently on his fourth item as of just yet. And it's and all then, damage. And it's all damage, right? And that's all Smile real, realistically needs. If he can land it on the perfect targets, which in this case is either Oh My Venus to try and reduce those stacks all over again, or even Owl, which would be the most ideal, then maybe there's something to talk about. But at the end of the day, I don't see either one of these people getting hit without Wise or even Edward being in that front line. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So there's a small sliver of opportunity, right? And mm -hmm. because of the way that they compose their draft, Occupy should have a good time when it comes down to the defense. Oh, no. What? What's Alpha thinking? He goes down for free, but wait. Speedy does get the hot guard in, forcing out a blazing duet from Al. Leo here from the back lines. And he's trying to take down Yue. Will he get it? And then he does! Alongside Maro. Edward uses the Electro Final Blow. Oh no, he's still holding on oh. to it. He already spent it. Down goes Oh My Venus. It's just Maro out. Will Edward punish? Nice. Chasing. Gets the stun and the reverse time. Maro's still here. He's taking quite a while. And there's the Electro Final Blow. Down goes the Angela. Yep, and all this while you see that Wise is cutting off reinforcements. Smile unable to rejoin or get in yeah. some kind of range to support with some kind of artillery oh. fire from afar. Dropping the BMI in that bush. They knew something was fishy. Phantom Execution on out. Owl using the tail end of that BMI. Taking down Leo. That's a three-man advantage now for Blacklist. Uncontested Lord. Leo's still gone for about 30 seconds, which means they have to defend for 30 seconds without him. Yep, they're going to be walking 10, out once more, and the 10k lead is here, at least for Occupy. They have pushed it to the time limit where the heroes actually get relatively strong. Like Speedy, for an example, he is in a very good position to potentially 1v5 if Blacklist make that mistake again. And now the defense down bottom. Not much Occupy can do, especially when they're not complete, not a five-man unit. But they do clear the wave. Oh, wait, Speedy, he's still on that top side, right? Edward, is he moving? No, it looks like they're just going to try and rush this at the end of the day. They don't have a wave to work with, I guess. They need everybody. Look at how deep Wise is. Look at how close he is to Smile. And now Leo. Speedy, they're keeping Speedy there. Yeah. Lord's still up. And now Speedy's going to keep pushing. Down goes Alpo. Watch the base. Ladies and gentlemen, Blacks International wastes no time taking the series. They're looking to just claim all the ground here. Two to zero, clean sweep. Wow, I don't know. I don't know about Occupy, honestly, without game. They got demoralized at the very end there. They saw the do the impeding doom coming in, even for Speedy, he's like, I gotta try something. Even if I were back in base, the goal lead is just, it's just too much to actually handle here. Nothing much they could have really done realistically. Blacklist had covered everything. And even for Edward, he's like, I don't even need to go back with this. There's not enough time. And just on a fundamental level, that draft, it was very abstract. I, there was so much they were trying to get, so much they were trying to do. And uh, it, against the M3 champions, against Blacks International, the window, the margin of error is just so small. Exactly. And I mean, considering how that early to mid game went, Man, Blacklist really punished those overextensions. You step a little bit out of the boundaries, sure, we'll take you out. But then Speedy goes even further. 